26-year-old August Thompson is charged with rape of an 11-year-old girl. Is it my daughter? No, it's just, no, let me look. Just let me look. Is that, is that my daughter? <laughs> How does it get from here's this drug to using? Yeah, I mean it. I want to know. No, I know. Just because you weren't here when it happened doesn't mean it didn't happen. It's crazy. Because I feel like I just met you, but I didn't meet you because I just met you, but it feels like I met you. Nice to meet you, Abby. <laughs> When's it gonna stop? Don't know who I am anymore or why I'm here, really. Do you believe in angels? Hi. I'm Jack. Samuel Graham attacked 60-year-old Diane Cothran in her car, threw her out of the car, leaving her paralyzed. Cothran died from her injuries. Diane Cothran was part of a group called the Fab Five. A woman Cothran was helping through her church asked Cothran to give her brother a ride home. North Charleston police say the man who needed the ride was Samuel Graham. Police say once inside the car, Graham beat Cothran in the neck and head. Beat her and threw her out of her car and left her in the middle of the road to die. Travis Lewis is convicted of murdering Sally Snowden McKay and Joseph Lee Baker. Paroled 23 years later, the victim's daughter Martha McKay, a longtime Buddhist and believed in forgiveness, gave him a job. Martha was found stabbed to death. Police say 46-year-old Rodney Sanders confessed to the crime during an interrogation. He gave no reason for the crimes. The sheriff of Holmes County said police work and tips led police to Sanders, and the investigation is still ongoing. A memorial mass is scheduled for Monday for sisters Margaret Held and Paula Merrill.